Don't you hate it when thrift shops do this? I'll explain in a moment. When I saw these on the shelf in a department store, thrift store, uh, they were together like this. Now, they go together. They are one unit. It's a matched pair. Uh, Depression era lamp, little lady lamp. But I carried it around with me. And when I got to the cashier, of course, I decided to buy it because it was $6.99. Now, what I didn't notice is normally this thrift store puts two pieces. And when I turn this one around, lo and behold, it's $9.99 for just the base. Come on, guys. So anyway, I talked to the, the cashier, or rather, not the cashier, the supervising person, supervising all the people who were doing self-checkout, which is a whole other issue in itself. But, uh, yeah, self-checkout's kind of pathetic. Anyway, so, now, anyway, I said, well, you know, what's occurred here? Like, did they realize this is actually one unit? And she said, well, sometimes they come in in separate boxes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But, come on, it's obvious you can match these up. You know they're one piece and one unit. So why would you price them individually? reprice them once you've figured out that hey you know there's one piece here one unit here so anyway i had decided to buy it at 6.99 i wasn't too keen about buying it at 9.99 there is a little chip on the shade after all but anyway so she said she would get somebody to come and uh, reprice them uh, and then she turned around within a half minute and said well just take it for 9.99 so i thought well that's works out to ten dollars for the two pieces you know if i averaged it out five dollars a piece or something and would i pay that normally if i was buying them separate it's like yeah i probably would so that's fine so i did buy them but come on guys get a grip start pricing stuff properly okay anyway let me know what you think is this kind of tactic something that you encounter is it something that uh, bothers you as well? Because it ticks me off. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.